screams of pain from a student at the Judge Rodenberg Center as he's tied down and shocked for hours. Good evening, I'm Mark Ocker. Hi everybody, I'm Maria Stefanos. Fox Undercover's camera, the only one in court today as a jury is given its first look at that disturbing video. And we want to warn you that the video is tough to watch. Mike Baudet reports. This is the video that the Judge Rotenberg Center in Canton has fought long and hard to keep from the public eye. The center convinced a judge eight years ago to seal it, and the battle continued right up until it was played in court as lawyers for the center asked a judge to bar our camera from recording it. The judge said no, and now for the first time ever, the public can see for itself what these controversial electric shocks look like in use. No, 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 no. Dramatic video of New York teenager Andre McCollins restrained face down, a helmet on his head, screaming for help. The Judge Rotenberg Center calls it treatment. I was shocked when we were 16 or 17. 31 that day. As McCollins' attorney just described, the teenager was shocked 31 times in all that day in 2002. McCollins is suing the Canton-based center, calling it torture. And Lawyers for the center and its clinicians say McCollins needed aversive therapy because he was aggressive. These are dramatic tapes. There's no question about that. But the treatment plan at the Rottenberg Center and the treatment plan that Andre had in place on October 25 was followed. It was an emotional day for McCollin's mother, Cheryl, who was in court as video was played from the beginning of Andre's ordeal, when he was shocked and restrained after refusing to take off his coat. I never signed up for him to be tortured, terrorized, and abused. I had no idea, no idea that they tortured the children in the school. Cheryl testified what her son was like when she visited him three days later. I couldn't turn Andre's head to the left, to the right. He was just staring straight. I took my hands and I went like this. He didn't blink. Cheryl McCollins did get Andre to Children's Hospital that day, where he was diagnosed with acute stress response caused by the shocks. The jury also heard her testify about watching the video and hearing staff members laughing while their son was on the floor. We should see more video on Wednesday in court as Cheryl McCollins returns to the witness stand. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.